Hey guys, this is me again, Carl Sensei, a Jet Program ALT assigned here in Kitataito Island, Okinawa, Japan. And you are watching Carl Benson Vlogs. In today's video, I am going to give you some helpful tips on how to ace one of the most crucial parts of your Jet Program application. I am talking about the interview. The interview that can get you that ideal or dream job of being an ALT slash cultural ambassador to Japan. I know, you're preparing for it. So, let's go! Before we begin, let me inform you that in our batch 2021, the application process happened in the middle of the pandemic. English proficiency exam, demo teaching, and interview were conducted differently. How different? First, we were not required to take the English proficiency exam anymore. Also, all shortlisted candidates received the same email containing the information of the submission date of our recorded teaching demo videos, as well as the respective dates and time of our interviews. We were given more than a week to send the recorded demo teaching video, which should not be more than 10 minutes, including your quick introduction. The video had to be continuous and not edited at all. It is simply a raw recording of yourself demonstrating your teaching prowess as well as your language proficiency. Another important thing, once you receive your interview schedule, it is already final and non-negotiable anymore. So if you don't make it to the interview for whatever reason you have, you're gonna miss your chance. Oh no! If you got that email, please bear in mind that you already impressed them with your SOP or statement of purpose and it seems that they already like you and the interview is just to verify what you say you are on paper and that's your job to prove that the interview will be conducted within 20 minutes the first 10 minutes will be used to watch your submitted recorded demo teaching video together with a panel of interviewers and right after that, the interview questions will be thrown at you. So, for you to do that, preparation is the key. So these are the things that I suggest you do before the interview. Number one is about your internet connection and power interruption. Be sure to have a backup. Knowing the internet instabilities in the Philippines, you don't want the situation to get in the way to have a smooth and successful interview. Please check if there are any scheduled power interruptions in your area too. Number two, check your devices. A few minutes before the interview, please make sure to check your video and audio settings. Testing it by talking with a friend using the app that the Jet Program Screening Committee chose will take away all your worries regarding technical issues that may arise. Number three, find a quiet and clutter-free area. Whether you choose to have the interview at home or workplace, finding a peaceful and quiet area to conduct the interview would be best. Tell your family to avoid making noises as well. And just to share with you, other Jet Program ALTs from our batch opted to check in a hotel just for the interview. So if you are worried about the internet stability and the background noise in your area, you may also choose to do so. Number four, know your SOP by heart. This essay stood out among hundreds or thousands of applicants. Prepare for the interview by reading your statement of purpose essay multiple times. If you know your SOP by heart, it will definitely be very easy for you to articulate your thoughts. Number five, practice answering possible questions. There is no way to find out the questions that the panel might ask you, but it pays when you prepare answering possible questions. 
I will provide you the list of possible questions so that you can prepare ahead of time. Apparently, I could not tell you the same exact questions that were asked during my interview, as we are not allowed to do that. Number 6. Practice answering these questions with a partner. You might think that you can slay the interview by preparing on your own, but it's really important that you get a constructive criticism from people who can give you that, like your colleague, your coach, your mentor, your best friend, or anyone who you can trust can give you feedback. But if you cannot find any of those and you're not very comfortable to do that, you may also try video recording yourself as you answer those possible questions. And you can also assess yourself in terms of your delivery, pronunciation, gestures, as well as facial expressions. Number seven, study your Nihongo. During the interview, the panel might ask you the question, what is your current level of Nihongo? I wrote in my application form that I had zero Japanese, so I knew that they wouldn't expect me to speak Nihongo. If your level of Nihongo is zero, just say so. But I advise that you prepare even a memorized short self-introduction, which will leave an impression to the interviewers that you are interested to learn the language and their culture. However, when you get here in Japan, You'll definitely need to use Nihongo to survive and make things easier for yourself. This is actually something that I regret I didn't do when I was waiting for our departure for Japan. I should have spent more time and effort in studying Nihongo before coming here. Number 8. Prepare questions for the interviewers. After the panel of interviewers ask you the questions, you will be given a chance to ask them any questions, but you have to be very careful not to ask for information that is already stated or answered in the website. I'm sure you don't want to give that bad impression, right? So read it thoroughly. Number 9. Pray. Before the interview, never forget to pray. Ask God for guidance and wisdom that you need to ace the interview. That's all for the before the interview tips. Now, let's move forward to during the interview. First things first, dress up appropriately. Generally, a job interview calls for you to wear professional or business attire. For men, this might mean suit, jacket, and slacks with a shirt and tie or button down. For women, a blouse and dress pants or a statement dress is appropriate. For men, neat hairstyle is best. For women, simple hairstyle and light makeup is advisable because you want to give a good impression without overdoing it. As for my observation, when you come to Japan, you would see how simple women here dress up and they hardly put makeup on at work. And even on special occasions, they opt for light makeup and professional clothes. So what do I mean by this? You don't need a glam team for this interview. Number two, your smile and facial expression. Smiling during an interview is a great way to show an employer that you share similar interests and have the potential to be a fresh new addition to the list of JET program participants. An interviewer will be able to tell if you are faking a smile, which will not create a good impression on your part. Smiling is a natural drug, so maintain it throughout the interview. Number three, body language and gestures. So here are a few and quick pointers. Sit up straight and tight in your chair. Have and maintain eye contact. Occasionally use hand gestures to express yourself. No slouching. Nod your head as you intently listen. Number four, avoid vocal fillers. Are filler words bad for the interview? Mm, not necessarily. Some common filler words include, mm, you know, kind of, um, sort of, but overly using them can result to a poor interview. So we'd better avoid them or try to minimize using them. 
Number five, buy time before answering the questions. The solution will vary based on the given question, but you can always try these tried and tested strategies. After hearing the questions, try to start up with, that's an excellent question. So what you're asking is, that's a really interesting question. I'm glad you asked about this particular matter because I'm glad you ask. It's funny that you ask. Number six, internationalization and cultural exchange. The JET program is a cultural exchange program. So be sure that you know what it really means and you know the role you are applying for and in which ways you can promote internationalization. This is the most important thing that you must be ready to discuss during your interview. Try to connect or relate your answers to this. Number seven, aspirations while and after JET. No doubt that your SOP got you that interview. I also assume that you mentioned about your aspirations and your goals that you want to attain while on the program. Stick to it and be ready to explain how you intend to realize that plan. They are also interested to know how you are going to continue to be a cultural ambassador of Japan to the rest of the world. Again, please be prepared to specify ways on how you're going to achieve these goals. Number eight, speak with a neutral accent. It is much better that we speak with our neutral accent because the goal of this interview is to answer the questions with clarity and substance to impress them. And those are the during the interview tips that I hope can help you. Now let's move to after the interview tips. First, you badly need this. Relax. It's all done. Breathe. Whether you did amazing or not based on your own personal standards, don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back. You have come this far. And besides, the journey isn't over yet. Number two, I can't stress this enough. Pray, surrender everything to him and let his will be done. Trust in his timing and thank God once again for this opportunity. Whether you make it to the program or not, remember that it is God's timing and not ours. I must admit, I did not have a perfect interview. I use more vocal fillers than the previous interviews I've had in the last few years. And I thought that my delivery could have been better or smoother. To tell you the truth, I even doubted if I would pass the interview, considering the tight competition for the slots. But I'm grateful that I got through and now I'm a full-fledged ALT here in Japan. So this leads me to believe that the panel of interviewers found something special about me. That's why I got the job. Oh, just a reminder that the interview is not the only deciding factor whether you're going through. You have to also give the demo teaching video your best shot. And that wraps up all the tips for the JET program interview. I hope you find this video helpful and useful in your preparation for the JET program interview. Before we end this vlog, let me share you this quotation from Brian Tracy. He says, Effective performance is preceded by painstaking preparation. So preparation is always the key. Good luck to all shortlisted candidates and we will see you all soon in Japan. Ganbate! Arigatou gozaimasu for watching. Bye today!